torch the piece and I cut it down in my blast cabinet with angular glass. It gives it a very raised grain, kind of like driftwood. And then I steel wool it, and I linseed oil it, and I steel wool it again. And that's wonderful. It's got an awesome texture. Hey guys, come on down to the shop with me and uh, see how I did that. Because we've been burning through the mahogany. Uh, started off with a plank this morning. Rough plank, ran it through the planer. Ran it through the saws. Got my little operation going where I made all my little blanks, tested them all. When I say testing, I mean I do a incredible amount of shell opening, guys. And I just charred the mahogany. Okay, this is what the mahogany looks like right off the planer. This is what the mahogany looks like if you blast it with my blast cabinet. I got angular glass, 120 grit angular glass. And this is what it looks like. You see this deep, deep, deep texture when you really cut at it for a while? Oh, it's amazing. It feels so different. This is kind of okay. I mean, it's a nice feel and all. It's just mahogany. But this has a unique texture like the fingerprint of the wood suddenly stands out. Who doesn't like fire? Fire. You want some fire? So here you go, you spend all this time making this wonderful thing. And now I'm gonna burn it. <laughs> okay. And you really can't see what's gonna happen in here. <laughs> because it gets really dusty. And it's dark. And even if I had a light, I don't think you'd really be able to see that well, the transformation. So uh, let's tune out right here and I'll click back after I've done a little blasting. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like after it's come out of the blast cabinet. I'm putting it in this really stark light so that you can see the grain. Isn't that amazing? And uh, you could probably get there just by blasting and blasting and blasting without the burn. But the burn speeds it up. And you can see it, it captures all the little facets. Nothing is lost. Makes the stainless steel screws a nice matte. So this is the way it looks before it's been steel walled. Like a wonderful piece of driftwood. It feels incredible. Quadruple bot steel wool. And, uh, just basically, you just go after it. And it changes the way the grain feels when you feel it. This is kind of a unique finish. So hold it on edge, you can see how coarse it is. But it's still very shiny. There's a lot of texture, but it's completely sealed. Very smooth to the touch. What do you think of the new finish, Grafer? Look at those babies, huh? It's the uh, post-apocalyptic phoenix finish. Here's the uh, traditional. And that is the new profile for the shell printer. 